welcome back to the Built by Rich YouTube channel. Uh, as you're looking at here, this is the Mighty 3S GTE Turbo from Toyota. Uh, but she's looking kind of tired and old. Needs a little bit of uh, cleaning up and refreshing. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but first, I have an oil leak that I need to fix from the valve cover. But while I have the valve cover out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint that as well. All right. You don't have to take off all the piping, as you can see here. But I did because I wanted to clean up some of the areas that had a bunch of dirt. So I did that. Um, I went with a wrinkle black just because it looks cleaner. Uh, there's too much red in the car. I didn't want to keep the red. So I just went with your... Uh, regular wrinkle black you can get that paint at any of your auto parts store uh, VHT high temp paint so uh, let me get the seal on and stay tuned Alright, it's all on there. Uh, everything looks pretty good. It's pretty cool that I came with that. Um, as you can see here, you want to put a little bit of dab of silicone uh, on the corners of your caps. That way it don't leak in those areas. Just a little tip. Just want to put a little bit of dab, not too much. She's about ready to go back in. Got to do it nice and careful. You don't want to scratch it. Nicely brand new paint. Slide it in carefully. Make sure everything is aligned. Set it down nice and gently. looking good it's a much much cleaner look than the red i actually prefer it eventually i'm gonna get this whole engine bay cleaned up but i'm doing it little by a time so time to put the the bolts for the valve cover uh if you own a 3s gte you know that they come with a Phillips head screw, which strips all the time and you can't really get a good uh, torque on them. So I went ahead and bought this uh, bolts from the hardware store. Uh, just your regular bolts. You could probably, they sell them online uh, that comes with like beauty washers and all that, but I just needed something quick. Uh, they want to wait, so just went to the hardware store and picked those up. Uh, like I said, it was just cool because the gasket kit came with those uh, rubber grommets and washer, so it all worked out. This will create a better seal than the Phillips head screwdriver because I can get a little bit of better torque down uh, down the valve cover. Like I said earlier. 
uh, eventually I want to get this engine bay uh, nice and clean probably get rid of uh, a lot of stuff in there EGR um, anything that I don't really need uh, basically clean it, clean it up make it look a little bit better probably get new piping um, new intake but for now I just want to make it uh, mechanically sound so I can drive it reliably um, I'm chasing a few issues I have a boost leak that I need to figure out a um, couple little things that I need to fix but eventually it'll look nice I decided to put new fresh plugs in it uh, this is uh, NGK's uh, I gapped them at 0 0.028 that should be good hopefully I'm just trying to eliminate basically any possibilities because uh, like I said I'm chasing a boost leak and I'm hoping that it's not ignition related um or anything like that so just trying to do my due diligence to make sure it runs well let me put this thing back together and i'll show you guys how i did my boost leak test using some parts from home depot all right here it is we got some straighter valve you can get from your auto parts store. Uh, we got this little cap. Um, you can get them in the plumbing aisle. Uh, and next to the plumbing aisle, and next to that cap, you can see the couplers. Um, they should have it there all in the same spot. And this is how it should look. Basically, you just drill a hole in the top of the, of the cap. You put your, you bolt your straighter valve in and you climb it down and that's how you would uh, apply, you use compressed air to apply pressure into the system. All right, this is my little contraption. Um, I'm trying to determine where the boost leak is. Uh, you use soap and water. I spray all the, the hoses and couplers. Sorry, I'm a little sick, so my voice sounds weird. Um, but I sprayed it here on that little, I guess it used to be a water mat and hold on. And you can see it's bubbling right there. So that's where my boost leak is at. All the other places seems to be okay. Um, so I'll have to fix that eventually i want to get new uh intercooler pipings but for now i just want to get it all mechanically sound get it running uh well and then um, make it look nice and go from there so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that and uh keep you guys posted all right i jb weld it together that should seal it uh, like I said, this is all temporary. This is all gonna get changed out. So for now, this is good enough. Um, I'm only gonna be boosting about 10 to 14 pounds anyway. So this should hold. All right. Well, I'm glad I found that problem because it was bogging whenever I get in boost. So 
Hopefully that solves it. Peace. All right, I'm gonna go on a little rant here. Ever since I got this thing, it has been fighting me the whole way through. I fix one thing and another thing completely different will come up. Um, I First thing I did was I changed the fuel pump. It has a brand new fuel pump. Um, after that, engine light came on. Uh, replaced the knock sensor. Uh, <laughs> what else? Had to replace my clutch cylinder, my master clutch cylinder, slave cylinder, um, uh, upgraded a clevis on a clutch, um, fixed leaks. Oh, my tires, all of them have flat spots. Uh, it just keeps going and going and going. Now with that said, <laughs> so I fixed the, the boost leak, or at least I think I did. I haven't tested it yet because as soon as I got it back together, my fuel pump decided to go dead. Um, it has power. Everything works f fine electrically, but the, it is not pumping. So I need to drop the fuel tank again. Not the funnest thing to do in the world. But I honestly think this car is cursed. <laughs> It just non-stop fix one thing, something else breaks. I just want to get to the fun stop. Uh, I mean, blah, fun stuff, uh, like putting on the wide body kit, coilovers, uh, big brake kit. All of that is just sitting, just waiting for me to put on. But I want to get everything mechanically sound before I start making it look good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to rant. I've just been dealing with this thing, and it's kind of getting tiring, but it's all part of it. When you get an old car, especially the, this one's been sitting for three years, it, you got to go through it. There's so many things you got to fix. Um, so, that said, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to have more content for you guys. Uh, I wish I can get to the fun stuff, but like I said, I want to get things mechanically sound. Uh, in order for me to be able to drive it uh, reliably. Um, so stay tuned and we'll get to the fun stuff eventually. Catch you guys next time. Peace.